how are you all doing? I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Please do let me know how you are in the comments because I do think about every single one of you. So today I have a haul to share with you and I haven't been out. I probably stayed home about a week and a bit before the lockdown happened. So I've probably been home about almost a month now. <laughs> So this stuff, I've got a ton of stuff, it's just over there and you can't see, which is a good thing because there's a ton of bags. So I've got a few hauls to share with you, so I'm going to be filming that throughout this time. And I just didn't have the time to film all of this before because I was doing so many shop with me's. I just thought that you might find it interesting, it might give you something to watch while we're all stuck at home. So today I'm going to be filming a charity shop haul. And I've got so much for this charity shop haul, so I've got some things here ready and then I've got like two more bags over there. So I'm going to see how much I get through because I might have to make this charity shop haul two videos. And then I've got some uh, Pound Stretcher, Poundland, Home Bargains, The Works. Yeah, I've got a few things. Wilco as well. I've got a few bags to show you all. So I'm going to be making these videos throughout this time and I hope that you enjoy them. Again, like I said, I have been staying home. So all of this has just been bought before all of this crazy stuff happened. So the first thing I bought is this chrome plate. Three tier candy cake stand. And you can see how old it is. It's literally vintage. And I haven't opened it yet. So let me just do that. That's actually pretty nice, really nice for like nuts and snacks. You can see there's three and they're like leaves. I'm really happy with that. I think I got that for like pound fifty, so that's a good bargain. And then when you want to fold it up, it folds like this. Which is really good because it doesn't take up much space like that. The next thing I bought were these uh, tea cups with candles inside. And I really love these and I was buying them as a gift but then when I got home I realised that there's quite a few chips in there and there's even cracks here on the cup so um, they're not going to be good enough to gift. But what I'm going to do is probably light them up and then when I finish all of the candle I use this for like fairy gardens because they're really nice for that kind of craft. And then I got another one so there was two and I think I got this for about pound fifty. So it's not too bad. Next I brought these lipsticks and they are Harry Potter lipsticks. So I've got a red one here and these are magical lipsticks so these aren't actually the colours. When you put them on they change colour. And I got these for my sister so I haven't gifted it to her yet. Then I found this in the charity shop. It was originally from Next. Cat and Mouse Trinket Set. I actually thought it was for putting your tea bags on and then I just thought this was an extra thing for you to put your biscuits on or whatever but yeah it's actually a trinket dish set so I think this is also another good gift option. I've got a few more gift sets here. This one's got some socks, it's got um, foot soak crystals and soothing foot lotion. So I thought you know what I'll do this for myself. I usually buy so many people gifts and stuff but I thought why not try this and pamper myself once? Another thing I bought myself from the charity shop was this gift set here. And then I bought these three pack of hangers. I think they were one pound and they're pretty big. The next thing I got is this beautiful vintage tray. Look at the pattern there. The light is shining on it, but um, it's also got little feet as well. How cute are they? And I love the handles. It's absolutely beautiful. It's really vintage. The only thing about it is that it has rust on there and I'm not sure how to treat it so if you know please do let me know in the comments. Next I got these Chevy Chic suitcases, they're for storing stuff in and again it's sort of quite vintage in the style. And then when you open it up you have two inside and the smallest one doesn't close so it was reduced. I also picked this up, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet. But I love boxes, especially for DIYs and just storing stuff in as well. So that's how big it is. And these things are quite vintage, they are quite old. And I have these little cute wicker baskets. And then another one here. I got these both together. I picked up some more little gifts, which was this body lotion. 
and it's brand new it's got all of the packaging still on and then this body scrub and this body butter i got a few necklaces i really like this it was originally from primark it's so pretty and it's brand new it's got like the packaging on there as well still and then i brought this one here which is quite unique i'll probably use this in my crafts so this is how it looks it's actually got a little clock in there so it's sort of like a pocket watch next i brought this pillow it's full of lace and it's got like a satin back here not because i liked it not that i would use it but i wanted the material for my projects then i picked up some more of these storage boxes but these ones are round and again they come in a three pack so i was planning to do a project with these where you put like flowers inside but i haven't got around to that all of the dust coming out um so those are the other two i brought this christmas tree and as you know i don't celebrate christmas but i wanted to hang some of the ornaments that i was making on my craft channel and it's funny because i went in and i got this from the charity shop thinking it was a real good bargain at like two pounds <laughs> And then I went into Poundland and found it reduced at 50p. So this was originally from Poundland. And these were all pretty much for my craft. So I got a wicker heart wreath and then this star topper, which I will probably take apart. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but it will probably be something around Christmas time. We also got this Merry Christmas stamp and a bouquet of artificial roses. I don't really know what these are, but uh, oh, I think it's like Christmas ornaments, yeah, that's it. Christmas ornaments, and they are like natural stuff. I think it's like the potpourri packs, and they've been stuck together on a bauble and spray painted. So there were two of those. I brought these, but I think that they are so old that they are dried out. It feels really dry, but it's meant to be an anti-frizz sheet. White hair with sheet infused with argan oil for a super smooth finish. But yeah, I think these are probably just going to end up in a the bin. They kindly gave this to me for free. They were just like, oh, have that. It's not been selling. It's got like a big scratch on there and it's quite dirty. And I thought, well, that's what I do. I take these things that would just end up being thrown and I give them a new life. I also got this really big book, which I thought my niece would love. So that's why I picked it up. And it's full of so many stories and it's really good quality. You won't believe the price that I got these plates for. Look at how beautiful they are. You know, I love vintage and floral designs. And then a bigger one here. So that's six for 99p. That's crazy, right? And then I got these two here, so they're exactly the same. I've got two of those, and they are more expensive than that whole set that I just showed you. And then I picked up another plate, and this was actually from Germany. I picked up some books, but they were just really for DIYs. But this one here looks pretty good. It's all in, like, new condition. It's quite modern, so I might give this a read or give it to one of my brothers. These are packaged and brand new, which is good, because... They've got a lot of marks on there and it's really sticky, so I am glad that there's packaging on there. These are some coffee canvases. I picked up this wooden tuple tower. It was actually going to be for some DIYs, but I've got a few already, so I might actually keep this one to play. And then I've got these, which were probably around 50p, and um, they probably will come in handy now. We're nearing the end now. I've just got a few miniatures that I bought. So I've got this little building here. And I think I'm going to put this inside a terrarium. And then I have this little elephant which was so adorable. Look at how cute he is. He's a little baby elephant with a crown on. And then I picked up this lampshade. And this little vase. Look at how vintage this is. I'm probably going to take everything apart from here, so I'll probably use the bells and then use the little bow. Well, it's not little, it's kind of big. And then his face, all in separate crafts. Then I picked up another Christmas tree. This one was before I found the other one. So this is going to hang all of my Christmas ornaments that I make on my craft channel. 
got a little purse and it says plenty of pennies and then I picked up a horse toy for my niece I love horses in real life and I always used to play with horse toys like this when I was younger and then for the last thing I bought this Christmas wreath the base is actually really really good so I'm going to take all of this stuff off and use the base and then I will use the berries and everything else, the greenery for lots of other DIYs. So this was a bargain because it was about pound fifty at max. So I was really happy with that. The berries are really nice because I don't have berries in this colour. So that's it from me for today. That was the entire charity shop haul. And I'm quite happy because remember I was saying I've got like two bags over there. I don't know if I'm going to get through it all. I did go through it and there were a few things I was just like, you know what, they're not really interesting. So I put them aside, but I managed to get through everything. So that means the next videos I can film for Poundland and all of the other shops. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and if you have please do leave me a thumbs up and a comment and subscribe to my channel. Please please take care of yourselves and I will catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.